Shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. That's one of my son's favorite songs. <laughs> Hello, I'm Parishma Tugani Nankani. I'm an illustrator, paper artist, and storyteller. In this video, I'm going to be drawing myself with scissors. My family is Indian and we had a lot of Indian things full of color and I love to draw them. So this is me when I'm little. I call myself Little K. I was born in Casablanca, which is in Morocco, which is very roughly over here. But my mother was born in Ghana, which is over here. And both of my parents and my entire family are from India, which is over here. Originally, we come from a part of India that is now in Pakistan called Sindh, but my grandparents had to exile to Bombay, to Ghana, and to Morocco. And then I moved to London to study art and design, and then I moved to Spain because I fell in love with a wonderful Spanish man, and now we live in Madrid. So I'm from all of these places. I like to think that I bring the best of them with me wherever I go and I have this imaginary suitcase in my head, which has bits and pieces of the best things from Morocco. So for example, this is a jar of spices. This is a chili pepper from India. I can't eat without chilies. Well, I can, but I don't like to. In Morocco, we talk about the hand of Fatima. It's a talisman that I always have near me. And I would also have the third eye The most important thing in my life, although it sounds very cheesy, is love. And inside my heart, both literally and metaphorically speaking, is my family, my four-year-old son, Ray. He's much prettier than that, and he's very smiley. My husband, Juan, has curly hair and very square glasses. And the three of us together are very silly and we have this thing we do when we hug and hold each other tight. We say, family power. Oops. <laughs> Everything inspires me, so it's really hard to draw just one thing, um, but I'm going to draw a mythical character. I'm inspired by mythical characters. I'm inspired by different visual languages from across the world. I love ancient traditions of storytelling. This character is a bird girl, and she appears in a lot of Iranian mythology, which fascinates me. And I've used her as a character in a lot of my pieces. When I'm older, I really, really hope I will look like my grandma. My grandma Nani, who I've written a book about, was absolutely beautiful. She would only wear white because she was still in love with her husband when he passed away 33 years before she did. She was very young. She had this amazing energy. She had this roaring laughter. She was a high-tech granny. She always had a suitcase and they were full of spices and presents, and she was the best storyteller I've ever met. And I'm going to make her sit down in a yoga pose. She was very good at yoga. She was a great cook. If I can be a little bit like my nanny when I grow older, I will be a very happy woman. Now I'm gonna start cutting these out. When I pick up a pair of scissors, I connect to a different type of creativity which is more free and intuitive. I'm not afraid to draw badly. I'm more tuned in to the state of play where I allow happy accidents to happen. I like to represent myself as a goddess. Well, not just any goddess, actually. I like to represent myself as the mother goddess goddess has three eyes so that she can see everything. Never mess with a goddess. 
Goddesses in Hindu culture and Indian culture have a feminine energy called Shakti. So I like to tap into the feminine energy when I'm working as an artist because it makes me feel a bit more powerful and less afraid to say things. The only thing about drawing goddesses is that it takes a long time to draw so many arms. Goddess is ready. Let's cut her out. Big goddess, big scissors. Now that my goddess is cut out, she can sustain everything I love the most in my life. My childhood and being an artist, all the places I'm from, and all the things that come with it. Love and my family. Everything that inspires me. And my wonderful ancestral past. Almost all of my work is autobiographical and sometimes I'm afraid I'm a bit too egotistical, but hey, I need to get it out somewhere. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you're interested in learning more about paper cutting techniques for storytelling, don't forget to subscribe to Domestica to learn more about my online course.